Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Active Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create and manage inactive mailbox in Microsoft 365. Microsoft 365 makes it possible for you to retain the content of deleted mailboxes. This feature is called inactive mailboxes. Inactive mailboxes allow you to retain former employees email after they leave your organization. A mailbox becomes inactive when a litigation hold or a retention policy is applied to the mailbox before the corresponding user account is deleted. The content of an inactive mailbox are retained for the duration of the hold that was placed on the mailbox before it was made inactive. This allows administrators, compliance officers, and record managers to use content search to search and export the content of an inactive mailbox. Inactive mailboxes can't receive email and aren't displayed in your organization's shared address book or other list. Making a mailbox inactive involves two steps. One, Placing the mailbox on litigation hold or applying a retention policy to it. And second, deleting the mailbox or corresponding user account. After the mailbox is inactive, its contents are retained until the hold or retention policy is removed. So let's see the steps to create and manage inactive mailbox and Microsoft 365. For that, we need to access and log into the Exchange Admin Center. You can access Exchange Admin Center using the URL https colon double slash admin dot exchange dot microsoft dot com. In the first step, we will put the user mailbox under litigation hold. In Exchange Admin Center, click on mailboxes. Click on the mailbox that you want to put under litigation hold. I'm going to select a user, John Nadar. Under more actions, we need to click on manage litigation hold. Turn on litigation hold and specify how long mailbox items are held. You can specify the hold duration in days as per your requirement. Here I'm specifying 3650 days. Click Save. The hold settings may take up to 60 minutes to take effect. And that message we can see here. Let me close this. After the mailbox is placed on a hold or a retention policy is applied to it, the next step is to delete the mailbox. The best way to delete a mailbox is to delete the corresponding user account in Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So let's open a new tab and type URL as https colon double slash admin dot microsoft dot com. And that will open Microsoft 365 Admin Center. In Microsoft 365 Admin Center, I'm going to click on users and click on active users. Select the user. In our case, it is John Nadar. Let's select it. And now I'm going to delete this user account. So at the top bar, I'm going to click on delete user. Let's click on delete user. We can see the confirmation message that our user is deleted successfully. Click on close. Okay. Now let's view a list of inactive mailboxes using Compliance Center. Click on Show All. Click on Compliance to open Microsoft 365 Compliance Center. Keep in mind that we are using the credential of Global Administrator Neem Manhar Rakulia. Click on Information Governance. Then click on Retention Policies. Click on Inactive Mailbox to display a list of inactive mailboxes. Select an inactive mailbox 
to display the information about that inactive mailbox. In our case, we have only one inactive mailbox of a user John Nadar, which we have deleted recently. Let's click on it. We can see information about that user John Nadar. This is his email address and inactive since this timestamp. Uh, it is on litigation hold and the duration is mentioned here. The hold is placed by our administrator cladmin at clarex.onmicrosoft.com. Let me close it. We can access the content of the inactive mailbox by using the content search tool. When we search an inactive mailbox, we can create a keyword search query to search for specific items or we can retain the entire content of this inactive mailbox. We can preview the search results or export the search results to an Outlook data file or as an individual email messages. Now I'm going to click on content search. Let's click on new search. Enter a name. Here I'm giving name inactive mailbox. Click next. Uh, you can define the specific location where you want to search for it. Okay, and now I'm going to click on choose user to select the user. Let's search for John Nadar. Okay, here we can see the information about our user John Nadar. And here we can see that is inactive. Let's click on done. Perfect. Let's click next. Uh, we are not going to define any keyword here. Uh, we want to search all the items. Okay. Uh, I'm going to click on submit. Okay, new search has been created. Now I'm going to click on done. Perfect. Here we have a, a content search name inactive mailbox. Let's uh, click on it. Okay, here there's no description available. Uh, let's click on search statistics. Okay, total four items are there. And this is the size of it. Uh, let me close it and here we can see the status is still starting. So let me click on refresh. Okay, it is completed. Now let's click on it and let's review the sample. So let's click on review sample. And here we can see the preview of that messages in an active mailbox. It is taking more time. So I'm going to click on refresh here. Okay. So here we can see the messages from our inactive mailbox. Uh, let's click on uh, any of that message. And here we can see the original message, which is sent by our administrator Manhar Rakhulia to a group named Finance. And this user, John Nadar, is a member of that group. Okay. And if you want to download that message that time, you simply need to click on download original item. Okay. Uh, here we can see other messages. So if you want to see those messages, you can click here. Okay. I'm going to close it. Uh, let me close this as well. And suppose if you want to export the result at that time, you need to click on actions and uh, select export result. Uh, select the export option, which suits you better. Here we have uh, output options that what you want to export all items excluding one that have unrecognized format are encrypted or weren't indexed for other reason all items including one that have unrecognized format are encrypted or weren't indexed for other reason and the third one only items that have unrecognized format are encrypted or weren't indexed for other reasons here you can select the output options as per your requirement uh, then we have a export option that export exchange content as what? One PST file for each mailbox, one PST file containing all messages, or one PST file containing all messages in a single folder. And the fourth option is for individual messages. Now, since we have selected only one inactive mailbox, and that's why I'll go with one PST file for each mailbox. Okay, then I'm going to click on export. So here, all these informations are here, searchable items and total items are four results. Okay. 
Now I'm going to click on export. Okay, uh, let me click on close and that export will be available on export tab. Here we can see inactive mailbox export. Uh, let's click on it. And here we can see uh, our search name is this. This is a timestamp when we have started this export. And here we can see the status. That is, see, uh, as you can see, it is scheduling. So this is going to take some time uh, to create a PST file. And once that PST file is ready, uh, then uh, you can download that PST file by clicking on here. Again, I'm going to remind you that currently it is scheduling. Uh, once the PST file is ready, and then after uh, you can download that result, or you can say you can download that PST file by clicking on download a result option. Okay. Uh, let me click on refresh. Okay, and uh, this is the export key. Uh, so you need to copy this key. So I'm going to click on copy to clipboard. And to download this PST file, we need to click on download result. Okay. Click on open. It is telling us that this is the name of the tool which we need to use Microsoft Office 365 eDiscovery export tool. I'm going to click on install. Okay, this will download and install the Microsoft Office 365 eDiscovery export tool on my local computer. Okay, now here we need to paste that export key uh, that will be used to connect to the source. So already I have copied that key, I'm going to paste here. And uh, let me remind you again that this is the key uh, which we need to use, okay? Uh, then we need to select the location where we want to store the downloaded files. Click on Browse. So I'm going to store on my desktop. Uh, this, this is the location, see, colon slash users slash manager slash desktop and slash taste. Let's click on Start. Okay, here we can see the confirmation that status is telling Office 365 has prepared your data for download. Your data has been downloaded and processing has completed successfully. The download completed successfully and uh, a total size was 0.46 MB. Uh, let me open that folder. Okay, this is the folder where we have stored that file. Uh, let's double click on inactive mailbox export, uh, double click on the folder and here we can see uh, the information about that export. So this is a PST file of our user or we can see this is the PST file of our inactive mailbox named John Nadar and this is his email address John N at clerics.onmicrosoft.com. So now uh, you can import this uh, a PST file in your Outlook and you can see the messages from that PST file. So that concludes the video on how to create and manage inactive mailbox in Microsoft 365. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.